hello everyone welcome back to another session in dentist and more so let's continue our uh, indices session so today's session is about patient hygiene performance index or php index which is introduced by port shadley ag and halle jv in 1968 so this is similarly as oral hygiene index simplified version so this is also having the same indices teeth 1611 and 46 and the same surface all buccal are uh, or labial only 36 and 46 are having lingual it is same as ohi s simplified so this is also having six index teeth so this is nothing but a plaque and debris index so we'll be checking plaque and debris Whereas in OHIS, we were checking debris and calculus, but here instead of calculus, we will be checking plaque. So, debris and plaque is always different. Debris is loosely arranged uh, collection of uh, fluid particles, mucins, or bacteria, but plaque is a very tenacious adherent on hard surfaces. So, it is not visible, only debris is visible. For plaque to be visible, we need to apply disclosing solution so these are the six index teeth and these are the surfaces so after that uh, we need to see the other properties that is a procedure first we need to apply a disclosing solution to make the plaque visible so patient will be asked to switch for 30 seconds of any of the plaque uh, disclosing agent and then expect rate but not rinse so examination is made by using a mouth mirror the change is we are dividing the tooth surface into five that is mesial one third distal one third and the middle one third will be again divided into three gingival middle and occlusal or incisal so total five surfaces will be there that is five subdivisions so the uh, options are either zero or one zero there is no debris or questionable one is debris present so debris score for individual tooth will be calculated by add all the scores and divide by five because five divisions are there so here it is one 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 so four scores are there so debris score for that to this four by five because five subdivisions becomes point eight so php index for an individual so we need to add up all the scores then divided by the number of teeth so how many teeth were examined that we have to keep it in denominator so finally we get a score excellent zero good 0.1 to 1.7 fair 1.8 to 3.4 poor 3.5 to 5 so this is like ohis index ohis index as also we have good fair poor score the score is a little different but in ohis we were checking debris index and calculus index but here we are checking black index and black score and debris score so next we will move on to black index so plaque index it was given by silness and low in 1964 which actually um, checked the thickness of plaque at the cervical margin of tooth cervical margin it will be checking because plaque will be mostly concentrated on the cervical region so the distal mesial lingual and buccal so these four surfaces cervical region will be checked for the plaque score the scoring criteria is as follows 0 1 2 3 0 is no plaque 1 is a film of plaque which is adhering to free gingival margin and adjacent area of tooth the plaque may be seen in in situ only after application of disclosing solution the two is moderate accumulation within the gingival pocket tooth and gingival margin which can be seen with the naked eye the one is only after application of disclosing solution and three is abundance of soft matter within the gingival pocket and or on the tooth and gingival margin. 
so two and three we can see with naked eyes but one we need to apply this closing solution so calculation we have uh, zero to three uh, score for each surface so individual tooth scores added then divided by uh, four because we have four surface mesial distal facial and lingual so for plaque index for group of teeth or for individual we need to add up all the scores then divided by the number of teeth examined then plaque index for a group all indices are taken and divided by the number of individuals okay so interpretation is excellent score zero good point zero two point one to point nine where is one to one point nine four is two to three uses which is very reliable technique for evaluating both mechanical anti-plaque procedures and chemical agents also can be used in longitudinal studies and clinical trials now we have another plaque index which is known as Kuglin Heen plaque index later it was modified by Tureski Gilmore Glickman so the original index Kuglin in 1962 they reported a plaque measurement that focused on the gingival tooth. So mostly, uh, majority of the plaque indices will be focusing on the gingival third of the tooth. Only the facial surface of anterior teeth were examined using basic fits in uh, mouthwash as a disclosing agent. But in 1970, it was modified by Tureski, Gilmore and Glickman. So, in this modification, the change was uh, instead of anterior teeth they were checking all the teeth and not just on uh, the facial surface they were checking other surfaces like uh, label um, uh, other surfaces such as lingual uh, labial and buccal surface because a posterior teeth also were involved but in the cuglihin it was only anterior surface facial surface of anterior teeth were examined but later modified into all the teeth with lingual and label surfaces so that was modification done by 1970 so these were the scoring criteria 0 1 2 3 4 5 0 is no plaque 1 is separate flex of plaque at the cervical margin 2 is thin continuous band up to 1 mm 3 is band of plaque wider than 1 mm but covering less than 1 third of crown 4 is plaque covering at least 1 third but less than 2 third and 5 is plaque covering more than 2 third of the crown and the index is based on the numerical score is 0 to 5 so we can calculate uh, the individual tooth score how we did in last and uh, we can calculate the patient uh, total performance or total score by dividing then keeping uh, denominator total teeth examined so we get a score okay so now we have few uh, gingival indices the periodontal index and cp18 we already covered in our uh, earlier sessions now let's see what is gingival index it was developed by low and silness in 1963 the same authors of gingival index but Gingival, uh, sorry, plaque index. The plaque index was by Silness and Low. Gingival index, Low and Silness. Same authors, but one is having more contribution. So he kept as a first author. So it is one of the most widely accepted used gingival indices. It has a severity of gingivitis at four possible areas mesial, lingual, distal, and facial. So only qualitative changes are assessed. Method is all surfaces of all teeth or selected teeth can be checked so selected teeth can be 1 6 1 2 2 4 3 6 3 2 and 3 4 here the change in index teeth is lateral incisor and second premolar not like ohis or php index so the teeth and gingiva are first dried with a blast of air or cotton rolls the tissues are divided into four gingival scoring units Distofacial papillae, facial margin, mesiofacial papillae, and entire lingual margin. A blunt perio probe will be used to assess the bleeding potential of the tissue. 
so this is the score 0 1 2 3 0 is no inflammation normal gingiva one is mild inflammation slight change in color slight edema no bleeding on probing two is moderate inflammation moderate glazing redness edema and bleeding on probing three severe inflammation and marked redness hypertrophy and spontaneous bleeding two is bleeding on probing this is spontaneous bleeding so calculation and interpretation if the scores around each tooth are totaled and divided by number of surfaces per tooth examined that is four the gingival index score of the tooth is obtained so just like how we did in our previous index and totaling all score per tooth and dividing by number of teeth examined gives the score for individual so this scenario is same for all index total score divided by number of segments or number of surfaces or number of sections per tooth and we add up all the scores divided by number of teeth will give the individual score interpretation 0.121 mild gingivitis 1.12 moderate 1.123 severe gingivitis in modified gingival index it was developed by lobin for the fourth row slam and manaker in 1986 which assess the prevalence and severity of gingivitis which is strictly based on non-invasive approach that is visual examination only without any probing so that is the difference there is no probing to obtain modified gingival index label and lingual surface of gingival margin and the interdental papilla of all erupted teeth except third molars are examined and scored so this is score 0 1 2 3 4 one is mild inflammation two is mild inflammation of entire gingival unit this is little change in the texture and only any portion of the gingival unit is affected as three is moderate inflammation and uh, there will be redness edema and hypertrophy four is severe inflammation and spontaneous bleeding this is all clinical examination no there is no invasive technique the next index is papillary marginal attachment index or pma it was given by mori messler and shore in 1944 it is based on the number of gingival units affected were counted rather than the severity of inflammation so what uh, we are doing is gingival unit is divided into three compartments that is papillary gingiva marginal gingiva and attached gingiva so presence or absence of inflammation on each gingival unit is recorded usually only on maxillary and mandibular incisors canines and premolars so after that uh, we need to uh, score based on this criteria that is papillary and marginal component as scores 0 to 5 Papillary is zero normal, mild papillary enlargement, obvious increase in size, excessive increase in size, necrotic papilla and atrophy and loss of papilla for five. Whereas marginal component, zero normal, one is engorgement, no bleeding, two is bleeding on pressure, three is swollen collar, beginning infiltration, four is necrotic gingiva and five is recession of free marginal gingiva below CHA due to the inflammatory changes whereas the A component that is PMA A component attached component we have only four scores that is 0 1 2 3 here we have six scores actually but only five uh, uh, scores 1 2 3 4 5 0 will not be counted anyway so total six scores here we have four scores 0 1 2 3 0 is normal, 1 is slight engorgement with loss of stippling, 2 is obvious engorgement with marked increase in redness and pocket formation and 3 is advanced periodontitis. So calculation will add up all the 3, P plus M plus A will get the final scores. It is used in clinical trials, individual patients and surveys. Now we have bleeding index given by Ainamu and Bay in 1975 gingival bleeding index 
which is based on recording from all four tooth surfaces of teeth recorded as bleeding present plus and bleeding absent negative so these four surfaces are buccal lingual mesial and distal so a negative or minus sign is equivalent to 0 and 1 plus sign is equivalent to 2 and 3 so gingival bleeding index is calculated as a percentage of affected sites so in experimental studies and in babies and individual patients also it can be used now we have sulcus bleeding index which is developed by Mulliman, Etral, and Sarnas in 1971. It is a modification of papillary marginal index of Mulliman and Mazer Z. So, scoring criteria is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 0 is healthy looking papillary and marginal gingiva, no bleeding or probing. One is healthy looking gingiva bleeding on probing. Two is bleeding on probing, change in color but no edema. Three is slight edema. Four is same symptoms with obvious edema. Five is marked edema. So four gingival units are scored systematically for each tooth. The labial, lingual, the mesial and distal gingival scores of these units are added. By divided by four gives sulcus bleeding index but modified circular bleeding index developed by uh, Mobley, Van Osten and Church et al. in 1987 here we have 0, 1, 2, 3 scores 0 no bleeding when probe is passed along the gingival margin 1 is isolated bleeding spots visible 2 is blood forms a confluent red line on margins 3 is heavy or profuse bleeding so that was about bleeding index and gingival index so i'll come up with a new session in dentistry and more thank you